Hey, I'm Jess. Okay, if you ask an elementary school librarian who's an author they love, Mo Willems is gonna come up all the time because Mo Willems is, oh, he's everything good, right? So Mo Willems gave us the pigeon books and it's like, oh, amazing, pigeon. Like, what could you possibly do? And then dude pulls out Piggy and Gerald and it's like, what? Like, how did you also make this amazingness too? So he's just an author who is on his own level. And so when his newest book came out, I automatically ordered it and it's called Opposites Abstract. And what is kind of my first thought because it's Mel Willems, so of course he's not going to do a run of the mill concept book. And this is a book that I'm still not entirely sure what I think of, but I do think it's interesting and I do think it's worthwhile. So he starts off and he goes, is this dark? And okay, there's an abstract painting, is this dark? is this light? And it's like, all right, we're getting those pairs, right? And then he starts asking questions that I don't expect to see. Like, is this soft? Is this hard? And I'm like, all right, kind of doing something different. But then we start getting into words that are likely unfamiliar for kids, mechanical, organic. And it's interesting. There's absolutely a lot of conversation that's going to have to happen, right? So is this an individual? Like what a good question, right? But it's also not a question that I would ask a four-year-old, right? Like that's probably not something that is going to come up. And so is this a book that is meant for kids to be read by kids on their own? I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. What I do think I know is that this is a book that would work really well with an adult child pairing. So are these groups? So I think this is one where if you read it with a kid, you're going to really want to use the question, what do you notice? Is this inclusion? Is this exclusion? And so you're going to have to talk about what those words mean. And this book is giving you a prompt to do that, a chance to do that, and an example of something where you can kind of debate it, right? Like maybe, maybe not. Is this intentional? So this is a book that, hey there, high school art teachers, you could absolutely use this with your class. And you know who else could? Elementary school art teachers. So this is one that easily pairs with elementary school, high school, middle school art. This is also one that I think you can do one-on-one -on -one with your kid and go, is this intentional? But you're gonna have to talk about what intentional means. And I think that there's the challenge, right? Here are these like kind of big abstract concepts and an abstract painting to go with it. And what an interesting thing, but also what a challenging thing. Is this accidental? Like, that's interesting too. This I think would be a really fun book to read before going to a museum because it's giving you an opportunity to kind of practice what you do at a museum, right? You flip through, you look for things and you start to notice, right? Like you start to look, what do you see? What do you think is happening? What do you think they mean? And there aren't necessarily right and wrong answers. There's just, the words he's given you and your ability to decide if you think it's that way or not. And so I like that he's done something different. I also really, really like the back cover. Make sure you take a look at the back cover because something different happens when you see the two um, opposites next to each other. I think it's a really interesting mix that you don't get when you're just flipping through the pages. So Opposites Abstract, Mo Willems, I'm glad he made it. I think this is really interesting that this is what he came out of 2020 having made. I still don't fully know what to think of it, but I'm glad that it's a thing. I'm glad it exists. And if you are looking to have some conversations, if you're looking to kind of talk about art or to talk about things, and you know, that's what a concept book does, right? It presents an opportunity to talk about something that's kind of big and up there in the air that maybe isn't easy to explain. And so Mel Williams is going to give you a chance to do that. And I think that's worth